Online begins tonight with a former member of the military facing child molestation charges. Aiken Public Safety says Michael James Weir is facing seven charges of child molestation, sexual abuse, and providing minors with obscene materials. News Channel 6's Stephanie Bornman joins us now live in Aiken. And Stephanie, Public Safety launched an investigation into Weir after receiving information from the Criminal Investigation Division at Fort Gordon. Jenny, in this case, public. Public safety investigators say there are three victims all under the age of 11, which is why they charge Weir with the most severe form of child molestation in the state of South Carolina. These seven affidavits issued against Michael James Weir go into explicit detail of the acts he allegedly committed against an eight year old, a nine year old, and an 11 year old. We're not talking about, you know, a stolen car or something like that. We're, we're talking about stolen innocence. Weir is charged with four counts of criminal sexual conduct with a minor third degree, two counts of criminal sexual conduct with a minor first degree, and one count of disseminating harmful material or exhibiting harmful performance to a minor. All I can really say is that these charges are very serious. Captain Marianne Burgess says the incidents, which span from May 2016 to March 2017, happened at Weir's home in the city of Aiken. They could have been neighbors, they could have been friends, that, you know, um, but they were children that were in that, uh, he had access to in that home. Only one out of every 10 sexually abused child reports that abuse. In this case, seven were interviewed, but only three reported victimization. The investigator couldn't tell us the relationship between the perpetrator and the children, but out of all the children seen here, 98% are abused by someone they know. Back in the old day, my parents used to tell me, watch out for the stranger in the park with the trench coat and the hat pulled down, you know. Um, that's what we thought, you know, but in reality, the majority of the time it's somebody they know. Gail Lofrigan is the executive director of the Child Advocacy Center in Aiken, an intervention and treatment center for abused children. Through interviews conducted here, officers were able to obtain an arrest warrant for Weir. Lofrigan says perpetrators groom children, so intensive rehab and incident-specific counseling is crucial to help victims overcome sexual abuse. Because these kids walk in the door and they don't the feelings they have about themselves, a lot of times they feel like they've done something wrong when really they haven't. They have to better understand that they're not at fault, um, that this happened because somebody made a bad decision. Investigators cannot say if there are more victims or if more charges could be coming, but if convicted, Weir faces anywhere between 25 years to life in prison. Reporting live, Stephanie Borman, WJBF News Channel 6.